All right, folks, once again, it is me coming to you on a Thursday as opposed to a Tuesday. And that means that we're going to touch on the advertiser friendly content guidelines. In other words, the rules of the road that govern what is going to get a green icon and what is going to get a yellow icon. Now, as I've said before, we've beefed up the advertiser friendly content guidelines page to a huge degree. If you compare it to what we had even a year ago, there's a huge amount of text there. Now that text can seem overwhelming, but it's our effort to make things as clear as we possibly can. Let's take a look back through some of the comments that we've had underneath the videos that we've been putting out and the answers that we've provided to those comments. Let's start off with a question from Accidental Science, who asks, welding, metalworking, working on high voltage circuits or on chemicals are all dangerous acts, even though nobody is injured. I didn't notice any mention on these things, so I suppose they are not considered dangerous from the point of view of ads. Am I correct? So, you are correct, broadly speaking. You mentioned one word here that is important to remember. Injury. If it is a tutorial where you're working on metalworking, a welding exercise, and are wearing protective gear, that is 100% fully monetizable and will not receive the yellow icon. However, if you have footage of somebody who, for example, has their thumb chopped off or is bleeding as a result of an injury in a workshop, that is not going to be eligible for the green icon. So just keep in mind injury there and distress. If it's simply a tutorial of something that is dangerous, but you're wearing all the pr protective gear and professional gear, then that's fine for the green icon. Next up, we have a question from Yogacharna. Anupama talk. They state, please tell me about harmful and controversial content. What should we keep in mind so that the video will be advertiser friendly and get that green icon? It's a really good question. And it's important to note that not only do all the advertiser friendly content guidelines apply to all videos on YouTube, there are separate ones that provide guidance for certain scenarios. So you're talking about two guidelines and not one. That is harmful or dangerous acts, as well as controversial issues. Now, harmful or dangerous acts is going to focus on acts that probably shouldn't be imitated or just feature dangerous scenarios and you see somebody injured. That's more than likely what's going to get the yellow icon. When it comes to controversial issues, which I think is the core of your question, you're providing an example that we see a lot, which is the video may focus on an issue that we have listed as controversial, but you're actually saying something that is to the benefit of the community and might be something like an anti-suicide message, a public service announcement. And broadly, that is safe for the green icon, so long as it doesn't contain a first person account of the scenario around a controversial issue. If it's a testimonial saying, I went through controversial issue A, B or C, that is something that's going to get limited ads. However, if you're reporting, for example, on the rising rate of suicide in a certain community or country, that is something, objectively put, is going to get the green icon. Next question is from Bridge4, who asks about self-certification, that questionnaire within the upload flow that gives you guidance around what is eligible for ads, but also the opportunity to maintain a high accuracy score. That high accuracy score is going to be really valuable where our classifiers disagree with your decision if you have that highly trusted score, we're going to trust you over our own automated classifiers. Now, the question is, if we are conservative with our self-certifications and choose the top option, which corresponds to eligible for ads, is that eligible for the same level of ads as none selected within self-certification? The two options are basically equivalent to one another. What I would say though is, just make sure you're considering the advertiser-friendly content guidelines with each upload. It's very easy to get into the rhythm of just choosing none automatically as you're going through and not selecting any of the options that may actually fit your content. For example, limited ads or no ads. Make sure you protect that self-certification accuracy score. Next question is from Key B, who asks, I'm still kind of confused about making a firearm content. For example, one of my channels is about 3D printers, including CAM and CAD software for coding and design. So if I demonstrate just the CAM, CAD software side of designing the plastic lower of a firearm, would that be a green icon? Furthermore, 
If I created a second video to show that being printed on the 3D printer, would that be a green icon? Very complicated questions, very simple answer. Neither of those scenarios would be eligible for ads on YouTube. And if you're going through self-certification, you should select the no ads option under firearms related content. Next up, we have a question from TJ Sports who asks, what about us news channels? When we broadcast protests and the authorities show their firearms, sometimes this happens during our live coverage. I understand if they use them or somebody is injured because of them, we will have the video blocked from monetizing. But what if they're just displaying it? Well, TJ Sports, if your newscast is showing a police officer or a person simply holding a firearm, or for example, if their hand is on it within their holster, that is fine for the green icon. That's not going to be demonetized. What you have to be careful of when it comes to protest footage is if there is a violent interaction within the coverage that you're showcasing, that may fall under the violence guidelines. You can find more information about that in the advertiser-friendly content guidelines page linked below this video. And with that, that is our Thursday upload. Now, if you found this useful and you have a question, drop it in the comments below and we'll do another video just like this one in a couple of weeks and run through any questions that you may have a little bit of confusion about. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you Tuesday for the newsflash.